Namaste everyone. Today we'll be drawing the Lewis dot structure of AlCl3, which is aluminium trichloride. Now, in order in order to draw the structure, we need to find the valence electrons of different atoms present in this molecule, which are respectively aluminium and chlorine. So, the electronic configuration of aluminium is neon. The inert configuration of neon and 3s2 and then 3p1. The orbital the valence shell is the third shell, right? Now, the orbital diagrams of the different subshells of the valence shell. It is 3s and 3p. So, uh, 3s has just a single orbital whereas 3p has three orbitals the first orbital second third right now 3s has two electrons one two whereas 3p has just a single electron now aluminium presently can just make a single bond why because it has got just a single unpaired electron one ue one single unpaired electron but aluminium can excite and one of its electron from the 3s subshell can jump and sit on one of the orbitals of the 3p subshell Okay, now talk. So it it now it has got three unpaired electrons. Okay, one, two, three, three unpaired electrons. One, two, three. Now it can make three covalent bonds, right? Now talking about chlorine, its electronic configuration is inert configuration of neon. Yeah, both aluminium and chlorine are third period elements, right? Third period. See, this is the third period. Your third period is this one, aluminium and chlorine. Okay, let's move on. So the inert, uh, so, so the electronic configuration of chlorine is the inert configuration of neon and then 3s2 and then 3p5. 3s has two electrons, whereas 3p has three orbitals having five electrons. One, two, three, four, five. Got a single unpaired electron. And it will make just a single covalent bond. Why? Because it has got just a single unpaired electron. Whereas aluminum in its excited state had one, two, three, three unpaired electrons making three, will make three covalent bonds. Now. Let's draw the structure. So aluminium has three valence shell, three valence electrons, I'm sorry, three valence electrons. One, two, three. Chlorine had seven valence electrons. One, two. You guys must be asking as to why did I make you understand how many number of unpaired electrons. We calculated the number of unpaired ele electrons just to find how many bonds the different atoms are going, different elements are going to make. There was no other purpose than this. In drawing the loose structures, we are simply, uh, we are uh, more involved with the valence electrons and not unpaired electrons. Unpaired electrons are, for, uh, unpaired electrons are calculated just for the uh, uh, purpose of how many bonds will be drawn will be made by each atom so chlorine has seven valence electrons one two three four five six seven okay and similarly you've got two more chlorines one two three four five six seven having seven valence electrons the third chlorine one two three four five six seven seven valence electrons these three chlorines are having now see Chlorine needs just a single electron, so it will make a single bond. Also, I made you understand that chlorine had just a single unpaired electron. So it, will, it is going to make just a single bond with aluminium. So each chlorine will make just a single bond with aluminium. I made you understand that aluminium had three unpaired electrons in its excited form. So it is going to make three covalent bonds. So this is the structure of AlCl3. Also, see if you if you count the number of uh, electrons after bond formation for aluminium, you're going to get six electrons. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. It hasn't completed its octet. It does not have eight electrons in its valence shell. It has got just six electrons after bond formation, which makes it a hypovalent compound, which means that AlCl3 is an exception to the Lewis octet rule, okay? Because according to the Lewis octet rule, each atom in a molecule will either complete its duplet, D-U-P-L-E-T duplet or octet. Aluminium has uh, achieved neither. So it is an exception to Lewis octet rule. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.